Luke Leatherman with Feeling Parts. We're here to showcase our vented dipsticks. These are machined out of billet 6061 and they're designed to vent breathe the excessive crankcase pressure out of the oil tank. We have fitments for the Milwaukee 8 uh, touring models, soft tails, and we have the late model twin cams, Dynaglide, and touring models. The dipsticks are set up where we give you two options to vent breathe the dipstick. Uh, first, probably the cleanest, is a porous fitting, internal porous element, allows it to vent and breathe. Uh, it's a nice and clean look. However, if you do have excessive blow-by in your engine, it can lead to you know, oil misting. Our preferred method is using the line that's included. It's got a quick disconnect coupler fitting and a crankcase breather element at the end of the line. You route it up underneath your seat and then attach the uh, filter element to the frame rail. But the concept of the dipsticks are to vent breathe the excessive pressure out of the oil tank. When you have excessive pressure that's leaked down through your rings and your cylinders, the blow-by gets pushed back into the oil tank and then this dipstick through our uh, oil separator and PCV valve, positive crankcase ventilation system, allows excessive pressure to be pushed out of the bike and that the oil does get splashed up on the inside of the oil tank onto the dipstick or we install a oil separator. So we start with a spacer, a screen, another spacer, and depend on what model fitment that you have this stack up is going to be slightly different. And then we've got a filter element right here and then the perforated disc and the umbrella valve. So this is how the inside is installed and then on the underside of the cap there's a little standoff or a ganorp and that's going to hold pressure down on the center of the umbrella valve. And so to get a visual on how this works you can see when Pressure is added to, to the hole. All right, our billet dipsticks have caps, the optional black or polished, and then the different fittings. And they're set up with the set screw in the side. This kind of has two features. One is it allows you to clock the cap so that you can put your fitting and logo in a desired position. And it also, once the set screw is tight, it's going to lock down the cap so when you go to take your dipstick out to check your oil level, the cap's not going to unscrew. We want you to use a little dab of Loctite on the set screw when you, you know, do your installation. However, you got to remember that when you need to service this, you're going to want to be able to get that set screw back out. And touching base on servicing, if you do have an engine that's got some fairly good blow-by, that oil separator and uh, filter element will get some oil residue on them. So we recommend at your oil change intervals, taking out the filter element and oil separator system, doing a full clean on it, and then reinstalling it. We're gonna show you checking the oil with this. We have both readings, both upright and side stand. FHU is full hot upright. FHS is full hot stand. We highly recommend running initial cold startup three to four dots down and then checking your hot temperature. Uh, and a little trick with the Milwaukee 8 is the pickup port in the engine sump is on the right hand side of the engine case. So if the bike idles and or runs on the kickstand for any bit of time, it's automatically gonna sump the engine and skew the oil level in the oil tank. It's gonna appear like you've got lower oil in the tank, then you're gonna add oil. But in reality, the oil is still in the system. It's just moved into the case. So what we want, to, want you to do when you go out and check your hot oil level, go ride the motorcycle, get it up to operating temperature, bring it back into your garage, and then make sure you shut it off while the bike is still upright. And then you can put on the kickstand after you shut it off, then check your oil level. And we run them 95 to 99% full. All right, to give you a little backstory on how the vented dipsticks uh, became an item in our product line, when we do our oiling system testing, and this kind of dates back to when we were hot and heavy on the twin cam engine, 
and then you know the recent Milwaukee 8 developments. What we do is we take the factory dipstick, we drill a hole through it, and we run a thermocoupler down into the uh, dipstick, and we monitor it with a fluke and this is something that uh, we use the same thermocoupler throughout all the testing and any changes whether it be oil pump gears, cam plate, oil passages, oil pump passages, what have you. Uh, we always try to make one change at a time and then we're completely monitoring the uh, oil tank temperatures. All right. Well, we seal the thermocoupler when we do this. We use some silicone or might be some epoxy or what have you to seal it so that way we're not blowing oil out of it. And what we had realized when we were hot and heavy on our Milwaukee 8 testing is uh, at one point the silicone that we had in one of the dipsticks came out, came loose. We were getting a little bit of splash oil out of the dipstick, but we were hot and heavy, so we really wanted to just continue our testing. But what we realized is all of a sudden, miraculously, we had two to three less ounces of oil in the sump. And what we realized is with that silicone being blown out of the uh, hole that was the thermocoupler was going through was allowing the oil tank to vent and breathe. And that's how the product became, um, how we came up with the product for the vented dipstick. Backing it up even a little bit further, some of you may recall the early twin cam models, the 99 to 06, where they have the rubber press in style dipsticks. They were very prone to blowing out, making a complete mess. And what Harley did is with the later 07 and up models, they went to a threaded or screw-in dipstick, if you will. However, the pressure is still there in the system. They fixed the issue with the dipstick by blowing out by just using a thread and dipstick. Um, and now what we're able to do with the vented dipstick is get that extra pressure uh, out of the system. Don't be a dipshit. Run the fueling made in USA dipsticks.